Hello, everyone. How is everyone doing? And hello to Holy, who's joining me. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm all right. Cool. How's chat? How's everyone doing today? I see Momo's already getting in on me and the drink. All the good Hell stuff. yeah. Can't wait for more story. Eh, me neither, Apple. <laughs> <laughs> Very excited. Hello. Hi. And I already saw Hope as well. She was the first. Yep. Thank you guys so so much for being here already. Very happy. Very good. I'm glad to hear that. Yes. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I never do. I never do. I usually have something ready. Like I'll, I'll ask something or do a thing. I'm. Uh, I'm yeah. I'm, 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 let's say okay. <laughs> let's, let's there you go. Okay. Hyped for stream. Yes. Very excited to know what everyone thinks of the next two chapters. And I'm also wondering if my voice is gonna allow all of this, all of the <laughs> uh, lovely voices that we need to voice. Because my voice is a little off at the moment, and I don't know why. Because I wasn't yelling yesterday. Maybe I was. I'm laughing a lot. That, that's for sure. Yeah, at the end we were at the, the game of, what was it, Cards Against Humanity. We had a lot of powerful laughter. True. Uh, yeah. Throughout the entire table. There were a few uh, very, very funny things. <laughs> <laughs> the laughing your voice away, exactly. I mean, hey, what a, what a great way to go, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Sent for the message so he wouldn't miss it, but I don't know if he read it. <laughs> Fair. I mean, he knows yeah. he started at three. I also sent him a message. Just now. <laughs> well, no, a little, a little earlier, but I uh, got rid of those messages because he wasn't online. And I was like, well, if he comes online the next time he gets to his PC, then he is probably a little a couple of days late so mm. he doesn't need those messages that's fair he's packing stuff good put us on loudspeaker exactly you can listen that's the whole point of these streams exactly i, I really do like the fact that we do this with the voices and with the entire narration yeah because there's definitely uh an option now for people that are visually impaired to actually hear the story yeah. and know what the story is. So it's like, it's not just for readers anymore, which I know there's like audiobooks and stuff, but this kind of just makes it fun, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, you may be missing the messages because of packing. That's fair. But I did see not audiobook. after, yeah, <laughs> after he, um, said that he was going to pack up his computer, he still answered a thing on the common room. So I do think he's also looking on his phone every now and then. Yeah. It'll be fine. And otherwise... And if, he's, and if he's not here, then he can always watch it back. It'll be on YouTube and it'll be here for two weeks. So it should be all right. Exactly. We'll see. Should all be fine. Exactly. He might be listening. Let's just hope he's listening. There you go. I mean, by now, I think with how much we've mentioned about him, he would have answered. <laughs> You're talking about Likely. <laughs> It'll be fine. They are going to go up. Uh, I just hope that anyone who is watching this back, which I know a few of the people here uh, that aren't here will have to and will want to, I would very much like to know what they think of the story as well. Yeah. They can't answer in chat, but I do hope that they will let me know. Or you, or both of us. Yeah. So please. Let us know in the Poison Dark Dungeon. Exactly. What you think of our story. Exactly. That was what? Exclamation point Discord? Yes. Boom. There we go. Well, I guess we could just start with the summary. Yeah? Yeah. In the previous stream, we learned that Amarilla is in fact not a werewolf, but a shapeshifter. Ayel tells them about Amarilla's grandmother also being a shapeshifter. 
Amarilla had a hard time processing the information, so the party was invited to stay at Ayal's house. During the next day or so, they finally got to know more about each other and managed to rest and heal up. There we go. A shorter summary, but it, it was a definitely thriller. There was stuff happening, but the, it's all like getting to know each other. So yeah, it, it fit in this case. So it, it's a good. It was a good to to yeah. She's really ready, isn't she? <laughs> thanks, for, thanks, Momo, for the the ping immediately in the Poison Dart Dungeon, okay. saying I love the story there even before the new chapter. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thank you, Momo. There you go. <laughs> so, if everybody's ready, I would like to ask um, you, Holy, to type exclamation point ready. There we go. I made a new There's command. A, a block of information. Which is basically telling them, like, I am telling this story, or we are telling this story right now. Uh, we will be back at you in our break. So let's get started. Right? Yes. Cool. Chapter 25. As the sun rose, most of them walked into the dining room, where another lavish breakfast was laid out. If I'm going to get this type of food every day, I won't be able to travel so much anymore. I'd be overweight in days. I guess our schedules have aligned with the sun. I didn't expect everyone to be as up as early as me. It's good to wake up so early when you're traveling. I always get up with the sun. Well, you're a cat. You sleep whenever you can. Yeah, prefer preferably in warm places. So as far away from you as possible. Grodnix grumbled something back at her as he grabbed some bread from the table. Will you guys be traveling again? I suspect so. If I'm gonna find my halo, we'll need to go somewhere, I think. You think you can teach Amarilla to change it into other beings? I think she'll have to figure out most uh, figure out most of it on her own, but I'm willing to help. I I don't even know where to start. Should we be doing that here? If I remember correctly, Venatrix has eyes everywhere in the city. Shapeshifters are rare. Wanted. We should be careful. And Marilla tried not to show shock about this, his apparent concern for her. They had never been the best of friends, but this was the second time in two days that he had been nice to her. That just means that doing the, so outside in the forest is also dangerous. Anyone could see. Both David and Zerfer nodded at that. No, she shouldn't change too much here. I agree. Where will we go then? If they, want to tr uh, if they need to train, we need a place like this. Secluded, safe. We've been safe here so far. The Duchess would keep Amarilla and David in cages if she finds out what they are. Yes, she would. We need space where Baal or the hunter can't find us. I may have a place. You guys can use my vacation residence. A prince. I keep forgetting that you're apparently a prince. I'm still just plain old me. Take it or leave it, I just I just thought it would be a good idea. I think it would be a good idea. Is it secluded? Yes, it's completely fenced in. When do we leave? As soon as possible, I suppose. I think I want to give Jorongora more time to rest. I shouldn't make him pull all that, uh, that much weight so, much, so soon again. Um, <laughs> that's her horse, Amarela told Ayel when she showed a puzzled look. Ah, I have stables. You're welcome to leave them in our care. Uh, would there be room for my cart somewhere then? He normally carries on the merchandise. I all nodded immediately. Yes, that shouldn't be a problem. I'll have to go get some things in order before leaving. I'm sorry. That means I won't be able to. Uh, won't be free to chat today. Uh, that that's all right. If you're coming with us, we'll have plenty of time to talk. Yes, that's true. I'll be going to the library then. I'll make sure Sheran will care for your horse. Will one day be enough? Shall we depart tomorrow? That should be enough, yes. Soon after that, Ayel left to make arrangements around the city and in the library. 
She wasn't back for lunch, and halfway through the day, a stable boy from the Duchess came to deliver the rondoire and the carts to the house. One of Ayel's workers took him to the stables, and Lunara went to sort through her carts to see if there were things she needed to bring on their journey without her beloved horse. Dinner was served before Ayel came home, and a maid told them that she wouldn't be home for a while. They were encouraged to eat without her. It'll be strange with traveling without Jerondora. She had been sad for most of the day, hugging him and taking care of him in the stables, and Rilla had joined her for some of those moments. The horse had definitely done its job well throughout their journey so far. We'll get back to him. We will return for him. If we're leaving the city tonight, maybe we should train a little. It's not too far. Less than two days of travel. I think I'd prefer a little rest. I'm up for a little training. I was actually wondering if you could teach me some of those uh, evasive moves. Zerfer nodded with a smile to both of them. What will you do, Amarilla? I... I don't really know yet. I've been wanting to turn back into my wolf. But you guys said it's not safe, and we're in the city. If someone sees... I'll, I'll wait until we're on our way tomorrow. David nodded. What, what will you do? I'm up for a little more rest. We've been, we've all been through a lot lately. <clears throat> David and Grodnix have been out for the most of the afternoon to get provisions for their travels. As their com conversations continued, suddenly there was a loud knock on the front door. One of the maids came up through the dining room, and, uh, followed by a lackey from Duchess Venetrix. His Royal Highness, Prince Theoden of Llewellyn. His Royal Highness, the Lady Venetrix has invited you for another audience. I am to escort you to her. She also requested the presence of the lovely young woman she had a conversation with. There was an audible sigh at the table. Can we finish our meal? Certainly. I will wait in the lobby. He left the room. They all finished their meal, and with another large sigh, they then got up. Are you coming? M me? You're the only female Venetrix had a chat with that day. She scrambled up to her feet and wiped her hands down her dress. You look lovely. At the very least cleaner than last time. Don't worry. Everyone had taken some time to get cleaned up. Now they finally had time and opportunity for it. Theoden and Amarilla walked up to the door, where he offered her his elbow, and she took it. Let's get through, uh, through this as quickly as we can. They walked into the lobby and the lackey instantly bowed again. He preceded the out, them out of the door. I, I don't understand why she wants to see me again. She seemed to like you. Maybe she just wants to, to, ask, uh, to ask you how it has been to see I.O. again. This time, walking through Amarillo, Amarillo could actually enjoy the scenery. It was a lovely city, with many stone and wooden houses. Elves loved to stay close to nature, so it didn't surprise her that there were trees and flower patches everywhere. They were led into the palace and guided straight to the study. Through the door they had heard Theoden's name being announced. I really like your last name. Theoden rolled his eyes at her, but she could see the corner of his mouth twitch into a little smile. As soon as the door opened, his demeanor changed. She could see him go completely blank, no emotion shown. Prince Theoden! Oh, and you brought her! I'm so happy to see you both! She waved her hands at the chairs across from her to indicate that they could sit down. And Marilla bowed slightly before letting go of Theoden's arm. They sat down at the same time. Duchess Fenetrix, thank you, so, thank you so much for the invitation. Oh, how could I not? I heard of your departure. I always been running around town all day trying to get her affairs in order before she leaves. I was hoping I could convince you to stay another day. I really wanted to surprise you, dear prince. Su surprise me? Benatrix ignored his question. But first, sweet girl, how is it going? You mentioned you had, hadn't seen Ayel in so long. Must be so nice to see her again. I, I am so happy to see her again. Twelve years was way too long. And now she's joining you on your travels. You must be very happy. Amarilla could only nod at Venetrix. Amarilla had always missed her friends. Having her back in her life was a relief. I... I thank you for inviting us. 
Ah, yes, invitations. The reason I wanted to keep you for a day longer, young prince, is because I have prepared a ball in your honor. Her voice sounded so proud. She was so sure this was exactly what Theoden would expect of her. Beside her, Amarilla could feel Theoden stiffen in his seat. She knew now that he hated the attention on him. She noticed he uh, was only the confident male elf when they were in a small group setting. She could see that he much preferred the attention of one or two women over a whole crowd. She was tempted to put her hand on his, but she knew Venetrix would see that differently. All of your friends are invited, of course, and my court. Oh, oh, but we don't have any fancy clothing. Yeah, none of us are prepared for a party. I don't think... That's not a problem. I will send over the finest dresses in the city. You really don't have to do this. It's already done. Amarilla could hear Theodon breathe in and out deeply. Thank you so much for this honor. His face was still blank from emotions. Amarilla could almost feel the reluctance in Theodon, but Venetrix seemed oblivious to it. Her face lit up. I will see you all tomorrow, then. I will have my lackey escort you here at the end of the afternoon. Ah, ball, it's been so long. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lady Venetrix. See you tomorrow. The entire way back to Ayel's house, Theoden was silent. Amarilla had her hand on his elbow, just like on the way there. She gently squeezed his arm, and he tensed the muscle in his arm to show he had felt it. His expression stayed blank until the escort left them in front of the house. Theoden didn't let go, but he didn't go in. Take your moment. Being somewhat taller than her, he looked down at her and pulled her around the house instead of inside. In the garden, they found Zerker attacking Maka, telling her how to dodge the attacks he was dealing. At the edge of the field, Theoden let go of Umbrella and he rushed forward to Zerfer. She could see the minute pause in his body language, giving Zerfer room to realize he was being attacked. Maka stepped back instinctively. He wasn't really attacking me! Umbrella stepped towards Maka. He knows. I think he needs this. Zerfer and Theoden uh, were attempting to hit each other without weapons. Neither of them got a hit in on each other for a good few minutes. Grodnix and David were also looking at the fight from the porch. Then, suddenly, Theoden was pinned to the ground. Zerfer performed a complicated evasive move and turned the power of Theoden's attack around. I take it didn't go well. We have to attend a ball. Ah, you've already heard. Theoden grumbled and Zerfer chuckled. Why do you always attack me when you're disgruntled? I know you can take me. The next day, they were all woken up early. People came to the door early to make sure everyone would be properly dressed for the ball. They could, they would attend that evening. Lunera and Ayel were the only people that didn't accept the help from the dressers. It was, of course, Ayel's own home. She had all her own clothing to choose from, and Lunera made it known that she had everything she needed to appear at a ball properly. One by one, the dressers would take someone into the sitting room where they had set up a lot of clothing racks. As Amarilla was being let in, Theoden exited with a grim look on his face. I don't like suits. We'll get through this. Just remember to breathe. She was led through the door and found, uh, found clothing thrown about everywhere. Let me just take your measurements. She took a measuring tape and held it up to several parts of Amarilla's body. Uh, no, nothing too lavish, please. Amarilla muttered as the woman went to look through the racks. The woman was about to pull out a frilly blue, blue, baby blue dress, but uh, when she heard Amarilla's words, she shoved it back on the rack. Eventually, she had Amarilla try on three elegant dresses. They picked the one that Amarilla thought suited her best. She took it with her to her room and put it next to Maka's dress on one of the beds. Most of the afternoon, Amarilla joined Lunera in the living room, watching her alter a dress she had already owned. Ayel explained to them that a ball by Venetrix would always include a grand dinner, so none of them ate a lot. During the, di uh, the day, all of them took a turn to take a thorough shower, and by the time the escort came to get them, they were all done. Marilla was wearing a white, uh, dark green dress, and the skirt was speckled with rhinestones, and it had a corseted bodice. The first person she found in the lobby was David, wearing a fancy-looking suit. How did you try it on? 
I didn't. They took my measurements and I refused to undress. They were good at their job. It fits me well. Lunera entered the lobby with Maka. Lunera was wearing a beautiful, elegant black dress with red accents she had made herself. And Maka had on a very revealing dress. It was low cut and split down the sides, showing off her leg. Zerfer and Theoden were nearly the same suit. They could have been brothers, if they were in different species. Grodnik seemed uncomfortable in the nice clothing. He pulled at the neckline as he walked in. Lastly, Ayel came down the stairs. Her dress was a dark blue with a purple hue, like the night sky, also with a corseted bodice. It looked weird to Amarilla to see her friends this way. She was used to seeing them slightly dirty from travel, or even bleeding after battle. Don't you all look beautiful, Ayel said, flashing a smile at him. Chapter end. <laughs> I'm already on it, Momo. <laughs> me, me and uh, Apple may have already talked about that. <laughs> Making those dresses. <laughs> <laughs> hello, Jerry. Also, hello, Vixie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, hello, Vixie. There we go. So you didn't fill the dex roll. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Buddha. Hey, Buddha! Okay, I will start with the squish because I will link to set a timer. I will have to grab my phone. Where's my phone? Squish. Thank you for the sippy sippy. Squish. There you go. Squish. Do it all, Buddha. How about you? Sippy. Let's see if we can get sticker here. Also, hello, welcome. How are you? Yes, I missed you too. <laughs> Squeeze! <laughs> kind of shook right now. Yeah, Ayel's dress is definitely the one I I see in my head the most. It's so pretty. So the thing that I wanted to um, to, to show you guys is that I actually drew all of the clothing. Hello. So I don't know how well it's visible. I think it's it's fairly visible. Hey, Froggen. Hello, Frog. You're late. <laughs> wait, add. Okay, I wait. Yes, you are late. <laughs> You're one chapter late. So I will tell you, this is Maka. Underneath is Theoden. This is Lunera. Underneath is Zerfer. This is Ayel. Underneath is David. And the last one is Amarilla. And the bottom one here is Grabnix. Yes, you did! Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. You did. And I'd love, Apple, I'd love it if you also made the drawings. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Frog, you know we start at three, though. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, yeah, you missed a few funny bits. <laughs> Bonk the froglin. There you go. Um, I was trying to get sticker here. Where is he? Right there. Aw. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that face. He's like light laying there. He's like, yeah, I heard you. Can you come bring it to me, please? <laughs> yeah, I understand. Understandable, frog. Sad, though. Sticky, come on. I can see you. He's like, yeah, I can see you, too. Come bring it. Come on, then. Come on. Like, I want it. But really? Oh, yeah, may maybe, um... Maybe what? I think uh, Holy's Discord may have, uh, or his Wi Fi may have messed up again, or internet. Hello. Come on. Make the leap. Good boy. Come on. Look here. Hello. Holy? 
Hello. Hello. <laughs> Internet somehow is sometimes a bitch. Yeah. So yeah, it didn't I hope it. it doesn't cut out during the chapter, but otherwise I'm okay with it cutting out during the yeah. intermissions. It hasn't so far, so that's good. Yeah, exactly. There we go. We we gave Sticker his treat. Um I heard you wanted to say a thing, but I don't know what you wanted to say. Uh yeah, I was gonna say, um uh it's probably better for Frog to not watch it right now if he's with yeah. both Dino Dad and Frog Mom. There you go, Mama. So that makes sense. The leap of Nom. Let's see yes. if I can also do a stretchy with Squish still in my head, because he's still there for a minute. I guess so. He's very comfortable right there. Did I only have one squish? Yeah. So treats, squish, sippy, which I did. Another treat and stretch. Cool. Got all of the redeems done. And now Sticker is going to lay here forever. Yay. No, I, I'm not keeping it here, but you can redeem it as many times as you like. They say hi back. Nice. nice Hell yeah. Hugs Jerry, yes. All the, all the hugs for Jerry. Hugs. I mean, that's what the redeem is for, Momo. <laughs> it's fair. <laughs> Thank you, Frog. I hope you let us know afterwards if you like it. Squish gets to leave. There we go. Five minutes. I can't believe it. Two years and they get and they message, huh? What? I don't understand, Cherry. Multiple tiny ass. Multiple, yeah. <laughs> don't leave us in suspense here, Cherry. Come on. Heck. Old online friend. Fair enough. I would leave them ghosted. If they can't be in your life then, then why would they be worth it now? Unless they have a really good reason. But, I mean, do they really often? Just relieved? I mean, yeah, hear them out, but I, I mean, if it's a stupid reason... I've had it before where people were like, yeah, but I just, I didn't want, really want to at the time. And I was like, yeah, well then why do you want to now? It's yeah. not worth it. <laughs> There's a difference between ghosting and uh, having a natural progression of silence. If it's a natural progression of silence, then I'm like, yeah, well, sometimes just life happens. But if they suddenly stop, and don't message you back, even though you try. I don't think like that. There, there better be a reason. Yeah. But I have something against ghosting, so <laughs> I may be a little I've biased lost, here. I've lost many friends with just natural silence. I mean, where if it, yeah, if it's life happens and things change, and that's if, normal. If that's, it's a natural, it's okay. Thing, yeah, but. It's yeah, yeah. Ghosting is definitely not something uh, I can do. Yeah, no. If you get a message, you either make sure that you read it or make known that you have read it or answer something back. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, it's really easy to have a natural pro progression of silence for you or for me to have with you, by example. If I just stop messaging you. Yeah. <laughs> Done. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like being quiet is fine. Ghosting is not. Like not answering questions or messages, I don't, I don't like. Yeah, exactly. I, I know if I don't message Apple, Holy Dragon, sometimes even more. Um, it's, it's fine. <laughs> as long as I uh, eventually message, I'll get an answer. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Fair 
fair, I guess. Uh, then it's a natural progression of silence, though. Turn. Food is made. Um, you're all mine. Ooh. I like that. Ooh. Thank you, Nightbot, for my Discord, which I never use. <laughs> I should change <laughs> that one to, to, to the Poison Dark Dungeon. <laughs> there yeah. will be more. <laughs> yeah. I have a good one, Jerry. I'll talk to you after work. You could also just link it to your link tree. That's fair. That's fair. Which also includes the discords, right? No. Because I have oh. separate uh, commands for my discord, uh, for the discords. But to be fair, yeah, I but... tend to use the dungeon more. And I think you actually did exclamation point discord before. That would also be dungeon instead. It's the wrong oh, right. But I might have to just change it anyway. I, I'm not in my Discord really. It'll be fine. He's like waiting for another treat. He's like ready for another treat. Right. Well, Look at his ears. He's looking at me like, come on, mom. Oh, maybe, maybe. Maybe dad will Let's run after him into the kitchen. I made spaghetti with cheddar cheese sauce. Well, sauce has also bell pepper tomatoes and zucchini, but it's mostly cheddar cheese. It sounds delicious to me, but I know a few people that won't eat that. <laughs> I would love it. I would love it. Yeah, definitely. Apple, he just ran away. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> Let's see if we can get him back. I doubt it, actually. Sticker! I can see you. He's like, no. I just ran away. <laughs> I'm gonna get it. I won't hear you for a second. <laughs> Come on. Oh. But mom, I just left. Do you really have to be here? Yes. Yeah, there was a Viking in the back. Definitely. With treats for himself. Damn, really. <laughs> it's fair. <laughs> there you go. Kitty got a treat. Nice. There you go. Show your face. Come on. There you go. Being adorable today. He's been cuddly all day. And yesterday too. Oh my God. But yeah, shall we continue with the story? Are we ready? Are we ready? Are you ready, kids? <laughs> Thank you for the command. <clears throat> Ready! I'm almost ready. Hmm? Almost? Hmm? And you said almost ready. Oh, no, no I said Momo is ready. Oh, that, my bad. Fixie says, aye, aye, sir. Aye, aye. <laughs> aye, aye. Well, All right. Well, let's get going. Chapter 26. Amarilla had expected to have to walk back to the palace, like they had the, had the day before. But Venetrix had actually gone all out. She had sent over two large carriages, pulled by four horses each. Theoden, Zerfer, Maka, and Grabnik stepped into the first carriage, while Amarilla, Ayel, David, and Lunera sat in the second. They traveled for a longer route throughout the city. Venetrix wants, to see, wants Theoden to see the entire city. She's very proud of this place. Ayal explained as the others looked at all the sights. It does look beautiful. Amarilla nodded. Soon they arrived at the palace and they were led out of the carriages. You will be called by your names in pairs of two. Please enter when you have heard your name. <clears throat> Yesterday she didn't even remember my name. When can they call our names now? Oh, she asked me, so I gave them to her. Only first names. We will now be announcing our honored guests for tonight. 
First up, our David and our very own Ayel. David walked forward and Ayel grabbed his elbow, showing the others how this was supposed to be done. Two lackeys opened the doors and they walked in together. Zerfer and Maka. They followed David and Ayel's example and walked inside. Grotnix and Lunara. They also walked in together. Amarilla immediately walked up to Theoden and grabbed his elbow, knowing this was going to happen next. Last up is our most honored guest. The reason we are hosting this ball is Royal Highness Crown Prince Theoden of Llewellyn and Amarilla. Together they entered the brightly lit room. There were a lot of round tables filled with unknown elven faces. She felt Theoden's arm stiffen and gently pulled him forward. Breathe. As she was struggling to breathe herself, so many eyes were on them and it made them both uncomfortable. Theoden was better at hiding it. His face was a steely mask, emotionless. Amarilla had the strong urge to pluck at her clothing, but she managed to keep her composure. They walked to the table that now contained all of her friends, which was closest to the table from Lady Venetrix. They greeted Venetrix, Theoden by nodding his head to her, and Amarilla did a full bow. After that, they were allowed to sit down. My dear people, I want to thank all of you for coming to this grand ball. As all of you know by now, our honorable princess graced us for a visit, so I wanted to show him all of the delicacies of her lovely valley has to offer. She waved her hands to the servants around the sides of the hall. They started by serving everyone drinks, rolled around in convenient carts, and people could choose whatever they preferred. Ambrosia, please. Ah, they have really good bottles here. Maka, sitting next to him, ordered a strong drink, and he looked up at her a little shocked. Good idea. I'll have what she's having. Amarilla could see the hint of a challenge in his eyes. Zerfer, David, and Amarilla asked for water, while Lunara and Ayal both went for a simple wine. After everyone had received their drinks, the servants came to place a large serving platter on the center of the table. Around them, several conversations were happening, and eventually they relaxed enough to start talking amongst themselves as well. On the large serving platters, Amarilla saw several types of meat and fish, roasted vegetables, and several types of potatoes, rice, and bread. There was something for everyone. The servant told them when he was done that they could serve themselves, but one stayed besides Prince Theoden. Prince, I am, sir, I am your servant for this evening. Would you like me to prepare you a plate? I'm happy to do that myself. Let me know whenever I can help you with anything. He moved to the closest wall, where he had a clear view of the table and could see if Theoden needed. You've already finished your drink? He was looking at Maka's glass, and she grinned at the goblin. I can handle my booze. Can you? Don't play with us, little girl. I can take you blindfolded. Oh, you're on, Princey. I'm in, I'm in. Well, maybe this will be fun after all. After a lavish meal and good conversations around them, Theoden had finished one drink and had just received another. Kratix was also on his second drink, and it hadn't escaped their attention that it was already Maka's third. Now that everyone seems to have filled their stomachs, I would very much like to inv invite our prince up to give a speech. I think we've lost him. Oh no. I think we've lost Holy for a second. I'm sorry, guys. Faint, not oh, to I smash just, the stop, glass on the stop, table. Stop, stop, We didn't hear you for a second. <sighs> Actually, it. we didn't hear you since Venetrix. So you, this was his first nightmare, is where you get to start. I'm sorry. <laughs> this was his worst nightmare. No one asked him to make a speech. He had nothing prepared. He also knew he couldn't decline now. His muscles tensed, and he released them by taking a moment deep breath. The next step was grabbing his glass of whiskey, and he drank it all in one gulp. It took all his restraint to smash the glass, not to smash the glass on the table. Breathe. He heard Amarilla whisper behind, beside him. She wouldn't know, because his mask was still on, but it did help him to focus. He got up and walked towards Fenetric's table. 
Citizens of Emerald, let me start by thanking you all for the hospitality that you have shown me and my companions. I, uh, giving a speech when one was prepared was easy, but he wasn't given any notice. The kingdom of Llewellyn has been prosperous. Economics have been going well. The mines have been expanded a lot. We had at least 10 births in the past year, and there may have been a few more in the time I've been traveling. At least two other women have been pregnant when I left. My father has been doing well and will be celebrating his 600th birthday next year. Again, I would like to thank you for this lovely gesture, and I do hope everyone will enjoy themselves this evening. Before Venetrix could stop him, he finished this little speech and walked back, seemingly confident, to his table. Thank you so much, Prince Theoden. I'm happy to hear there have been so many new births. Children are such a blessing and are so difficult for us to conceive. I'm very pleased to hear that life has been so kind this past year. Theoden nodded at her when she looked this way. He was content to see that one of his friends had made sure there was another drink waiting for him at the table. He downed half the drink in one go. Then now I would like to invite everyone to head into the ballroom for some dancing and min mingling. Ventrix said when getting up from her seat. <laughs> Sorry. Theoden stood up from his seat, and while he didn't have to, he offered his arm to Amarilla. The group moved as one entity in the massive amount of people that attended the ball. Thank you. I'm proud of you. That speech went well. I usually put way more bullshit in those speeches, but she caught me by surprise. From the other room, a large, extravagant ballroom, happy music sounded. She will assume I dance. And Marilla could hear the reluctance in his voice. I, I, I can't. Don't, don't ask me, please. I think Lunera or Makara will happily dance with you. That's a good idea, thank you. Theoden handed Amarilla over to David, who was standing near a corner of the room. Soon, Grobnix and Zerfer also joined them in that corner. Makala swept off her feet by Theoden. They could hear her giggling as he led her onto the dance floor. Lunera was swaying to the music, clearly ready to dance as well, but she wouldn't go onto the dance floor herself. Would you like to dance? Oh, um, I can't. Dance. I, th I think Lunera may like to. Ayel's eyes lit up and she moved over to the other woman. Lunera must have said yes because they moved towards the dance floor as well. In their comfortable little corner, Amarilla listened to Grabnix telling a story. He boasted about his skill with buskers and how he defeated several ogres in one battle, all by himself. David and Zerfer were also listening. Suddenly, Lunera and Ayel came running back to them. Lunara grabbed Zerfer's arm, pulling him against his will to the dance floor. We know you can dance, Zerfer. I won't let you get away. I've seen you fight. Ayel grabbed Amarilla. Don't worry. I'll leave. As Amarilla was pulled onto the floor, she saw Theoden and Mercar grab new drinks and join the others in the corner. She felt, Ayel's, uh, she felt Ayel grab her waist. She guided Amarilla's hand to her shoulder and grabbed the other. As promised, Ayel guided Amarilla across the dance floor. She made the steps easy. They glided and floated over the music. She felt comfortable in her friend's safe hands. After a long time, Ayel handed Amarilla off to Lanera, and eventually she ended up with Surfer. Let's flee to the corner. Thank the gods. They hurried back to the safety of the corner. Several people walked through their group talking with Theoden, asking him about his kingdom and his tasks. Amarilla realized they had been out on the dance floor for quite a, uh, quite a long time, and she even had fun being there. The rest of the evening they talked with elves that came up and chatted amongst themselves. Sometimes people would go out dancing, but Amarilla stayed put. She noticed that Maka, Grodnix and Theoden were truly trying to outdrink each other. Hours later, some dances and a lot of talking with strangers the party was coming to a close. David was supporting Gradnix as the goblin was telling an epic and possibly made up story about a dragon the size of a mountain that he slayed in one hit. Maka was merely giggly, but by what Amarilla could see, she probably won the drinking competition. Theoden was hanging on Amarilla's shoulder. You know, you really made this bearable. 
During the evening, he had become more and more clingy, mostly towards his best friend, Zerfer, who was also the man to come to Amarella's rescue. Let me take him off your hands. Zerfer and Amarella were the only two people that had no alcohol the entire evening. David didn't seem bothered by the amount he consumed. Lunar and Ayel were happy, but not overly drunk. They decided to go back home as a group. They weren't required to say any goodbyes, said Ayel, so they left on foot and went back to her house. Surfer had to nearly carry Theoden, so Amarilla helped by taking hold of Theoden's other side. Thank you so much. You can be such a nice girl. I'm glad I missed that day. <laughs> Me too. In front of them, David was leading Gronix into the dark, correct direction, while Ayel and Lunara had locked arms with a macaque to keep her out of trouble. Keep away from my girl, Theoden. <laughs> Your girl? Lunara asked, clearly amused. The walk back to the house was longer than Amarilla remembered, but eventually they stumbled into the house. She helped Surfer get Theoden into bed. Walking out of the room, Grodnix and David also entered, and before she left the hallway, she could already hear one of them snore loudly. Instead of going to their room, where Lunara was tucking in Maka, Amarilla went back downstairs. She walked into the kitchen and grabbed a glass of water for herself. She could hear footsteps approaching. Did you have fun? It, it wasn't a nice change that I could do without. We never got a chance to talk. But we could sit down for a little bit. I'm quite awake still. I would like that. I all led her to the sitting room that had been completely clean since that morning. They sat down on one of the couches. Their dresses blended together in the middle. The blue, purple, and green looked pretty together. I, uh, I really like your dress. Thank you. You've grown up to, in, into such a lovely young woman. Ayel's cheeks were slightly rosy from the alcohol. You haven't changed a thing. Tell me all, about all of the years that I've missed. Amarilla started telling her about school and subsequent work from the moment Ayel left. Didn't you have any relationships? I, I had a boyfriend for a while, but we barely saw each other. I don't think I was invested enough. You're such a beautiful girl, woman. They must have been insane not to try. Uh, have you had a relationship, or several? Ayal immediately shook her head. No, I've... There's always been such a large difference in age. I was afraid. You, you like someone? Oh, sorry. Um, her heart made a leap. In the same moment, a lump hit her stomach. Such a strange feeling she hadn't felt before. I all looked back up, right into Amarilla's eyes. You're so young. I all gently touched Amarilla's cheek with her fingertips. But you've grown so much. Amarilla looked down at her knees, but slowly moved her hand to Ayel's hand. Her fingers intertwined and she could hear Ayel breathe a sigh of relief. I, uh, I, sh I, should, I should really head to bed. She didn't let go of Ayel's hand as she got up from the couch, partially because she didn't want to let go yet. Slowly, Ayel also got up and gave a gentle kiss on Amarilla's forehead. You, you've always had such a large part of my heart. You, you were my best friend forever. I need to process. I need to find out what this means for me. Ayel nodded slightly. Amarilla gave her friend a gentle kiss on her cheek and walked out of the room backwards. She held Ayel's hand for as long as Amarilla could and offered her a small smile before, just before disappearing through the door. With a slight flutter in her stomach, Amarilla went up to her room and laid down on the mess of blankets on the floor, cuddling with her pillow. There we go. <laughs> and now the actual chapter end. <laughs> now the actual chapter end. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, oh, I, no problem. I don't even know how that happened. I think my touchpad was too sensitive. <laughs> so I had my hand Oh yeah, that happens. The front of my computer, not near my keys. Usually I use my keys. Yeah, it's big little, OO moments. It's a, it's a little bit of an OO moment. I should change my scene, actually. There's my mom's. Oh, bigger me. Ah. <laughs> Apple with the tiny A. Ah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and yeah, um, Buddha, he did not notice. <laughs> Definitely no. Not. 
<laughs> Theoden has run away. That's very true yeah. in that case. He's like, no, I'm not doing this. Bit. No. <laughs> Don't worry, Hope. Don't worry about it. It's no problem. I kind of didn't expect you slash her to listen um, because of not being up to date yet. <laughs> I mean, how Apple, you already got more. Because technically, that last bit wasn't in this story bit. <laughs> <laughs> we switched it around so I could add it. <laughs> yeah, we made our chapters longer this time. Yeah, I uh, I had to actually shift two of the chapters around so we could fit the last bit in. Because otherwise, it would be too long one chapter. Yeah. But we did that for you guys. So no, you're not getting more. You already got more. <laughs> Still too short. Well, shucks to be you, huh? <laughs> a short That's a short kettle. <gasps> and yeah. Shark. 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 <laughs> Aw, Momo. Come back in three weeks, you'll get more. <laughs> Actually, yes. we need to talk about that because that's a weekend we have something planned, but we'll do that after stream. Oh, yes. The 8th. <laughs> oh, yes. Lord. Yeah, we're going to have to figure that one out. Yep. It's going to be fine. <laughs> we got three weeks to plan, so. True. So what did you guys think? How well, Momo you... said I love this story, so. Yeah, that's Or true. this chapter. What does Squish do? Well, redeem it and you'll see. I mean, I can, I can name a few things that do Squish, to be fair, but yeah. So. Most of you guys have seen me do this for five minutes last time. Normally, I, it would be this. But every time someone else does it, he's going to switch. So now you get the angry one. Sorry. <laughs> and it'll be here for five minutes. On my head. <laughs> Loved it. Lovely. Nice. Love both chapters. But this one will be game a bit more steamy. It's not steamy. She's just like professing her feelings. It's fine. <laughs> Technically, she didn't say a word yet. Another one. Oh no, now it's Angie. <laughs> squeeze. Okay, I'll turn it around now and make it better. That's fine. Now it's happening. Squish. So then it's nine. <laughs> oh, it's Angie. Ooh. <laughs> And you squish, go. which the pink really doesn't show up on stream. Oh no, it becomes like white. So close to the to the light. Fair, but the face is very physical. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Does mean you. The green one is a lot more visible. Does mean you have to be here for at least ten more minutes. That's kind of fair, actually. Mm. I have to run it out. I'm sure we can manage. Also, if that means you're going to keep redeeming it, I will put it on pause. Just so you know. Yeah. <laughs> or I will put it on pause. Yeah. But ten minutes, Either way. Ten minutes we can definitely fill. It should be no problem. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, what do you guys think? What are, what, what's going to happen next? I'm wondering. Yeah. Brownies would get drained too fast. That's fair. Actually, I think... The only one that can, can actually say that their drowning, brownies are going to be drained fast is the holy, because he still has a whole one. Yeah. That usually doesn't last long. No. <laughs> there goes my plan. Foiled again! No more. No apple. <laughs> we would have been here forever if it weren't for you meddling kids. I mean, that would just mean that they keep asking for more chapters and keep getting disappointed for getting no. Yep. Give us more. No. Give us more. No. Give us more. No. Exactly. 
Oh boy. I love it though. I love this. I I I actually love these chapters. Thought something would happen between Grodnix and Lonero during the introduction. Oh, fair. That's also because I actually um because they were being so nice to me in a call uh Friday, I told them the the very first little bit between them. Only that. <laughs> <laughs> they are very saucy to each other. Anything oh, can yeah. happen, we're not done yet. <laughs> Preferably in warm places, so as far away from you as possible. As far away from Oof. Yeah, I really like that exchange. I, we've talked about this before, um, in the like in the walkthrough. Mm -hmm. But the bit between Venetrix and Theoden is definitely my favorite. Oh yeah. <laughs> you can see it. They can't. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, none of us are prepared for a party. I don't think... It's not a problem. I will send yeah, them that... the finest dresses in the city. <laughs> just the, the cutoff. No, just don't talk. <laughs> like, I will go right through you. I know what's best I for you. I really didn't have to do this. It's already it's done. It's already done. Damn it. <laughs> God dang it. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't have any clothes. It's no problem. We'll fix this for you. Oh... I mean, I thought they would push each other or something like that. Mm. You love my voice for that? Yeah, I love, I love that voice. <laughs> oh dear, it's not a problem. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a ball, oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> and meanwhile, I did not write her into the ball nearly enough. But I think I could have done way more. But that would have made <laughs> it like four chapters. If I would include Venetrix, that would be oh, yeah. like four chapters, just the Venetrix talking. Oh yeah, just her. Just her. There's no way to shut Venetrix up no. in a correct manner. I mean, there's no way to shut her up in general. She thinks she's the best and amazing and that she's doing all of the right things. She was convinced, she's convinced this was what Theoden wants. Like, he must want a ball. He's a prince. Of course he wants a ball. Yeah. I mean, I, I voiced it for um, Minerva. Uh, McGonagall. There you go. McGonagall. Oh, dear. Very English. A little bit posh. <laughs> Shocker. Shock. <laughs> There's a difference. Shooketh. Shooketh. Oh yeah, I liked I liked her. I definitely like Venetrix. I'm not sure yeah. if she can, if she's gonna come back, I'll make her a thing. I like her. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean she could be. You never know. I don't know where no we're shake. gonna go yet. <laughs> no. Well, I know a little we bit. Have a direction. We have I mean, a direction. We've already discussed going to Theoden's residence, vacation residence. Yeah. He, he offered it. Yeah. So that's our main direction right now. Other than that, nothing. True. Yeah, but Momo, there's like a few ways to shock someone. It's like, like boo, but also <laughs> electrified. Like a little, little bit different. I mean, that would shut her up, though. Fucking. Hmm. I think we lost the whole thing again. No, no. Oh. I heard half a word. Oh, I said shocking. Oh, see, that's the half a word I heard. I heard ink. Hmm. <laughs> Just do something that will make her go gasp. I mean, that would mean that Amarilla should have put her hand on Theodens. Don't worry, dear. It'll be alright. Oh yeah, just scare her. <laughs> Jump well, scare her. That would mean that Amarilla would just start kissing him, which is never gonna happen. 
<laughs> that would shock anyone. Shy little girls just suddenly kissing Peter. Tiny? No, oh, bigger. I am not a fan of this internet. No, that's fair. That's actually fair. Fix it. <laughs> try to fix it. I wish. I'll try to fix it at some point. Anyway. Two more minutes. Two more minutes for Squish to live on my head. Yes. Aya would be shocked. And she would be very sad. I can promise you that. Especially after what we just read. She would definitely be sad. Yeah. I was thinking of that and she and Aya were Amarilla and Theoden would be a good couple. <laughs> I, I don't think Amarilla and Theoden would be a good couple. I do think a lot of people thought that uh, Amarillo might end up with uh, David a little bit. Yep. I mean, technically she's still good. That was at least the biggest idea at the start. Yes. For other people. It's everyone except us, yes. <laughs> yeah. You were like, no, they're friends, why? Yeah, exactly. There's nothing. Oh. I mean, they are... Like fast friends, but also sort of like best friends, because they get each other a lot. They are more family than a couple. Oh yeah, like brother and sister or something. Yeah. Okay. Really, and David would be nice as well. Yes, and I think it could have worked, but not in the in the format that I want this story to be. Yeah. Which I'm not gonna tell most of yet. I, I, want, uh -huh. I want people to experience that the way it is. We have yes. discussed You and I have discussed it. But oh, yes. Just so you know on what page I'm thinking. <laughs> 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 yeah, but how I'm really helped Theoden and make me think like that. I get that, but also he shot her the first time he saw her. Yeah. He actually shot an arrow at her. She's not going to like easily forgive him for hunting wolves. Was not the best introduction. Nope. Um. Oh. Squish can go. I, I'm curious how many others are going to be either disappointed or happy about what we decided for these characters. Well, they either be happy or. Wrong. We don't really care. <laughs> yeah. They're either, they're either happy about it or wrong. incorrect, so. How many stories have a romance that starts like that? Exactly, and that's why I don't want it. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't want the stereotype. Hello. Hello. I don't know how to say your name. I don't know where the, the thing is going. Butter cakes. There you go. Welcome in. Hello. Hello. You uh, sadly have missed all of the storytelling for today. Yeah. But welcome. Um, if you are interested, you are very welcome to go and see the previous chapters, and this one will also be on YouTube. Um, yes. But thank you so much for coming in. I really appreciate it. How are you doing? And how did you find us? It's a German oh, name. I mean... It should still be able to be said. I'm Dutch, as is holy. It's it's definitely pronounceable, so. Yeah, that that's true. I just don't didn't really see where I should divide the words. Wait, YouTube. Wait, yes, YouTube. They are on YouTube. <laughs> yes. Unedited. <laughs> Completely unedited. It's literally just stream vods. I should really make that. Let me get on that for a second. Yeah, you go do that. I'm working on it, Buddha. Yes. That's the wrong account. Although, if I add it to hopes... <laughs> that's, yeah. that's fun. Not the point, but that's fun. Uh, 
uh, and then I have to get the link from my YouTube channel. <laughs> yep. What was it again? Eh, tiny eye. Uh. It was your channel? Yeah, that's a good question, huh? I don't there you go. Use that one. Fair. Can you send it to me, Mama? She already sent it to me, Mama. Thank you, Mama. <laughs> She's on it. She's like, like ready. Submit. Go. And then I'll make another one for this. YouTube. So now we have exclamation point YT and exclamation point YouTube. Yes, they there you are go. aliased, so they should work. <laughs> the kids keep forgetting that when I'm watching the stream, the person I'm watching can't see them. So, hi, Tante Bernie. <laughs> hi, Damon. Yeah. Nice guy. <laughs> In German, we say sehr sympathisch. Sympathisch? Sympathisch? Uh, <laughs> it's a ch in Dutch, but <laughs> I don't know how you say it in German. Sure, right? sympathisch. It's, yeah, sympathisch. Sehr okay. sympathisch. Yeah. Thank you for subscribing, Momo. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that now. <laughs> there you go. There we go. That's a pretty rose, isn't it? It's a rose, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's your own. Nice. Yeah. He's bought his own rose. I like it. So can I ask uh, Lord Buttergex, how did you find us? I wonder. My guess would be through the just chatting. Yeah, or one of the discords, because I do have a few. Fair, yeah. A few discords I go to. And it's from the picture I made in 2008. Nice, so it's original. Nice. That's pretty. But yeah, all of the previous chapters. So right now we were on chapter 26. All of the yep. previous chapters were um, already posted to YouTube, and this will go up as soon as I'm done and it's done uploading. It'll be on uh, on YouTube as well, for sure. We've been on this for thirty nine weeks, thirty seven actually, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like only like a month before we started writing, like we started streaming this quite quickly. Yep. Yeah, that's ridiculous. <laughs> it's it's actually ridiculous. How far we've gone, too. Uh, it will be also watchable for 14 days on Twitch as well. Yes. Yes. There is a VOD for 14 days. That's why my account is always so empty. <laughs> I don't do any other streams, and I only do this every three weeks, and it stays here for two. So, it's empty. Yeah. So, yes. So, so I'm scrolling to just, uh, just scroll it. Yep. Nice. The English people. Miss, why? Why would they do that? Oh. Oh, I'm getting called upon after a stream call. We'll figure it out. Don't worry. All right. We will figure it out. Hope whatever it is. Don't worry. Yeah. The story is so great. Thank you so much, Apple. I appreciate that. Oh, yeah, well, that's really discriminatory. That's really not cool. I agree. That's really mean and unfair. I agree. You are welcome here. Definitely. There you go. The family will take in anyone. Hell yeah. Nice. Hey, nice. Congratulations. You will, we definitely will fix that. Welcome. Thank you so much for the follow. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. 
Uh, please, yeah, that, thank you, holy. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even have to say it. Uh, please join us in the Poison Dart Dungeon. I do have my own Discord, but it's a lot quieter. I don't really yeah. chat a lot there, but the entire family is, uh, is in the dungeon. Uh, so please, f feel free to come join us there as well. Because everyone is very accepting there. You can be whoever you want to be. And we don't care where you're from. Of course. <laughs> All the congratulations. So nice. Hell yeah. See, everybody's nice to each other. And that's what, what the family is all about. Exactly. No judging parents, just a, a family of friends. That's but, what the family is. No judgy parents, but there is a grandmother face. Hi. <laughs> I love brownies. Fair. <laughs> but you're not a judging grandma. No, I'm not a judging grandma. <laughs> there you go. Are you going to eat more brownie today? Most likely. Are you going to give Apple some? Of course. <laughs> Actually, after we left yesterday, I was like, maybe we should, should have given half of it to Dragon Wolf because he really wanted one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I felt bad. Eh. I want brownie. Aw. Go to Holy. He has some. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he has a lot, actually. Yeah. Still, if he didn't start on it yet, he still has a full one. Yes. The family is the warmest, sweetest, and most welcoming family in the world. I agree. Kind of wish I could sing the song now, but it's definitely not good enough for me yet. I think we've lost Holy again. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Heck. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm still here. <laughs> really? That's not what you said before. Apple's calling you out. <laughs> what? <laughs> Apparently you said it's yours. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't go lying to the good people now, Apple. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> also, thank you for the offer. Um, we generally speak English and I try to keep my... Uh, chats and well most of my streams mostly uh, English otherwise I would yeah. be speaking Dutch and I don't like Dutch thanks Hope <laughs> <laughs> I speak a little bit I like of that, Dutch that... German but not enough for an entire conversation there I can I can read it I can't speak it but I can read it <laughs> right yeah. Yeah. I like that you're you're saying like, thanks but no thanks. I'd rather keep my entire chat English, <laughs> duh, German. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Thanks, Hope, for completely disregarding our message. <laughs> I mean, she only heard that after I like she heard me say that after she entered for sure. Yeah. But yeah. Poison Dart Dungeon is also an English Discord, but you can always ask someone uh, if someone wants to learn some things. That's fair. In German, yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I didn't add, like, finish that sentence, because I knew it was. Yeah, hard. yeah, makes sense. <laughs> Sorry, I got the volume down, because Holy is loud and baby sleeps. Am okay. I loud? I don't think so. To me, you sound fine. Well, apparently I'm loud. Okay, I yeah. mean, to be fair, I'm always loud. So. Your bar is going more up than mine, so maybe I should just... Maybe then that sure. means I'm loud. I think that works. You laugh loud. I laugh loud. Oh, yeah. I do. So do I, actually, I think. It's a holy flame. You will always be loud and big and everything. Yes. Okay, that, that goes a little too far for me. I don't know what that means. But, yeah. You can always have a conversation... Uh, if you guys like in Discord, you're very welcome to join. So, is there anything else we should be discussing or talking about? Does anyone want to say anything? I don't know. You no, know either. That's why I'm asking. Uh, I'm going to be streaming tomorrow again, playing some Mario Odyssey. Hell yeah. Are we ready? Otherwise, with... meet us back in three weeks. Are we ready with all of the, <laughs> all of the tabs <laughs> open? <laughs> with uh, tabs. Uh, 
Shark got all the flammily. Yes. Shark. Pardon. You can't see me, so I just yell into the shark. Shark. Fair enough. I think it will probably mean you speak a little bit of German already or something. Finishing Odyssey. I don't think that's going to be tomorrow, but most likely next week. We are going to get close tomorrow. Fair. I'm, I'm very happy to help. Uh, I think about 100 moons at least. So that would be like 12%, 15% at most. Which means we're at 85% of the game. I mean, I hope in this case, I would really prefer you don't because we were going to start winding down. Yep. <laughs> but the normal cuddles are very, very okay. I have passed the squish for now. Okay. And we have to just remember to unpause it after. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because I did that last time with your hydrate and you, you didn't have anything anymore. You're like, I'm not going to go get more. I was like, okay, let me just pause yeah. this for you. Yes, next Thursday, we're also streaming together. And you actually oh, yeah. be able to see me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You missed one thing during the chapters? <gasps> what did you miss? Uh, hair? Oh. <laughs> That's fair, I promise. I mean... The, oh, this is gonna be fun Thursday. Yeah, I, I get to actually do your mermaid ha hair flip with you. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. No, actually, Vicks, it's gonna be one camera. Oh, maybe, depending on how he has to set it up. But um, I'm actually going to be Honestly, there. it may actually be double cam. Fair. You have to, so why not? But it's one room, yeah. so. I one, mean, I can, one I can turn, the other one I can't. Oh, one, I'm in your streams. I'll see you tonight. Um, two, I'm on Discord. You can talk to me whenever you like. <laughs> yes. It's better than three weeks waiting. True. True. We actually have another stream every Thursday now. I keep forgetting yeah. that as well. Yeah. For another about five weeks-ish. <laughs> Unless you fuck up a yes. lot, then it's going to take longer. Then it's going to be six. <laughs> also, um, for anyone that is new, because there were a few new ones, um, I would, would like you to see my link. Sorry. Where you can also find... Why isn't it working? Did you type it right? Did I do that as a command? No. That's the command. So I made a link tree. Uh -huh. I'd very much like it if you guys followed all of my friends. So tonight, Hope, Elizabeth, uh, Kayland will be streaming, I think. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure she's doing another sprint, but I'm not sure. Uh, it's really fun. It gives you a lot of motivation to actually do get some stuff done. Uh, last week she got me to draw Raichu finally because I've been putting off my my challenge to draw all of the Pokemon. So she finally got me to actually make um, make Raichu. But 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. CET. There you go. Central European time. Yes. Dutch, Dutch time slash Belgian time in her case. Yes. Um, so yeah, and then Holly is in there, who is going to be streaming again on Monday, as you just yep. said. We've also and Tuesday and Thursday. <laughs> and, thri and Friday. And Friday. This week. Yep. Hell yeah. And um, Apple is actually in there with her Etsy store, which she makes really cute, adorable things. I mean, she made this, but that's not something that's for sale. But like, this is the kind of stuff that she makes, and it's so adorable. It's amazing. Um, it's amazing. Yeah, she makes little demons and little hearts and all of the things, and it's so cute. So check that out. And there's definitely a few more things in there. So check out all my friends and the, all the all the lovelies. And um, yeah, I'd like that. Join the Discord. That too. Hell yeah. 
So I, I, I think we're going to call it a day for today. We will. Uh, yeah. I already checked if there was anyone to, to, to raid, but I didn't see anyone live. So I don't think. I, I was just going to say the same. I have no, yeah, no. raidable people. <laughs> so I don't know if anyone has someone to raid, maybe. But I don't. I don't like going into a random person's stream because I never know. Then we're not going to raid, I guess. I mean, if someone is like, oh, I really know this person, they're cool. I wouldn't mind doing that. But I mean, I wouldn't browse now and see if there's someone I want to raid. Nope. Yeah, exactly. Thank you for another great stream. Thank you so much. Oh, Buddha has one. What is Ooh. he doing? Oh, if it's a horror game, I'm not good. I don't like <laughs> horror. Um, Eli's here. Nice art streamer. Ooh. That sounds good. Let me see. That sounds great. Oh, they're starting soon. Awesome. Also, you guys can hear that. Because <laughs> <laughs> my, my sound's around. Um, 30 and flirty owl lady. She does commissions and it's arts. I mean, I, I like arts. You know what? I'll trust you. Hell yeah. Uh, I'll trust you. Let's let's rate her. Uh, yeah, why not? Them. And you cut out, Holy. Sorry. Raid. Read them. You, you cut out, sweetie. <laughs> I don't like your internet right now. Um. I just said let's rate them. Yeah. Thanks for being lovely, Yuki, and thanks for being the loud and cheerful you, Holy. That's a fair statement. Yeah. Raid with love. I will put in the raid. There we go. So, thank you guys so much for being here. Holy, thank you so much for doing this with me again, as usual. No problem. And uh, I will hope to see you at least on uh, in three weeks to, s to see the next one. And otherwise, let's uh, see you guys on Thursday on Holy's channel doing uh, some Ori. Hell yeah. At least for me. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye.